Manny Tuesday, what a performance that was. It must really highlight to you as players what, as a group, you're capable of. Yeah, uh, it was a great performance from us, I think. Perfect away performance. We won 3-0 and performed the way we did and create as many chances as we did. Seeing as we haven't created that many chances in recent games, I think it was a great response for us. And uh, I think it was a great return for the fans that, you know, decided to travel up, you know, that far away in the evening as well. So, um, you know, we just appreciate the support on that day and it's something that we want to continue doing. What do you feel the team is capable of? Because if you look at it, you, you, you're just below the midway point in the table, but a lot of games have not been much in them at all. Yeah, there's not a lot in this league, I think. It's all about consistency. Whoever's the most consistent uh, in certain periods in the season will you know, um, perform and get where they want to get to. So I think we don't really have a specific target or place, but we just know that you know when we play to our maximum, when we play as we did the other day as a team, and solid that we can give anyone a game in this league. So I think where we want to be is just have consistent performances and then see where that takes us. What have you made of this season for yourself so far? A little bit frustrated with injuries here and there? Yeah, frustrated. You know, I've uh, had a few injuries and then been suspended, so it's been a bit stop-start for me. Uh, hopefully that's the end of my injury worries and suspension worries as well. Mm. But, um, yeah, more importantly, it's not really about it. It's about the team, you know. So if anything, I've been a bit more disappointed that we've been inconsistent. And um, so, yeah, hopefully I can play as many games as long as I got for selecting me, you know, then I just want to be available and help the team where, to where we can get to. How are you finding playing with Tom Conlon? Because a lot of people who watch the team regularly are starting to think that the two of you have struck up quite a strong partnership in the centre. Yeah, he's a really good player. You know, I spoke about him before. I can't remember when, but yeah, he's got a great left foot, great passing. You can see a pass as well. Got an aggressive streak in him. Like he's a good centre midfielder. He's a good player to play with as well. You know, I enjoy playing with him, and I uh, hope he enjoys playing with me as well. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, he's a really good teammate, good player, and I think he brings a lot and adds a lot of value to our team. Since moving up here in the summer, how happy are you now? You've had a chance to just spend a bit of time at the club. Yeah, I'm happy. Uh, it's not London, obviously. It's different, <laughs> but I don't mind that. You know, it's a bit quieter, and that probably suits me a bit more than the fast pace, you know, London life. But you know, I'm used to it. But yeah, I'm really happy with everything around here. Like it's got everything you need. It's got a Nando, so <laughs> I'm happy. That's all I need really. Nando's on the roof of my head, so yeah, I'm really happy with how things are going off the field and on the field. Yeah. I don't know how to break it to you. There's two Nando's. There's two. Now. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. there are two Nando's. Yeah, not too far from each other as well. So I've discovered that. So I'm happy. Yeah. Next Tuesday's game. Just finally, um, a lot of people were didn't know how to take the draw against mm. Stoke when it first came out. But as it gets closer, are you as players looking forward to this one? Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Um, I think more so for the fans in in the sense that you know when we heard that they sold out the uh, one of their stands, I think it just kind of highlighted to us you know how big of a fixture it is for their fans. I know that our fans will probably respond in the same way. I know that they'll probably prefer to play the first team as we probably would as well. But regardless, it's still a cup where we can go to Wembley in it, and there's something that uh, you know we wanna we wanna win any competition where we wanna win. So. Yeah, we are looking forward to it. It's still another game, still 90 minutes, still nothing more than that. So we don't want to make it too uh, big and, you know, we don't want to get nervous and stuff like that and make it bigger than it is. But we do realise that there's more on the line than there is normally and we're looking forward to it. So so as players, your message is to the fans, regardless of what they might think about the competition, just come down and help you and get behind you? Oh yeah, definitely. Regardless of the game or the competition, like I said, I know they're probably disappointed that it's not um, Stoke's first team, but you know, just for us as players, we don't want to feel like it's an away game. Like they've got more fans than us, and that they're a bit noisier, which I highly doubt will happen. But yeah, um, definitely would want you know as many fans to come down and support us and help us to get a result.